What's up, everybody? It's Chris from the Brashcast. Sunday morning, and I'm headed to my first fucking baseball card show in like 3,000 years. So I'm really stoked. I'm going to head out there, bring you with me. We're going to go check these dudes out and see if I can grab some Jose Canseco's. Yeah. All right, we made it. We're in Milwaukee, Knights of Columbus. You can find this uh, baseball card show in the back of this month's Beckett. It's uh, in West Allis, Wisconsin, listed at 40 tables, so we're about to go see. It's been about 20 years since I've been into a baseball card show. have no idea what to expect. Hopefully they got a shit ton of Consecos for me to go through. All right, just got back from the fucking card show, grabbed a stack of goodies, and I can't wait to go home, check them out, and then show them to all of you. So, gonna drive home from Milwaukee. Boo yeah. Okay, it looks like we're back from the show, and I had a chance to sleeve up most of the good stuff that I found. I was really happy with the outcome. The show was awesome. Uh, I don't know if there was 40 tables, maybe about 20 tables or so. A bit cramped, but it was exactly what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> the show delivered nonetheless. Had a ton of shit that I could thumb through. I could have stayed longer, but uh, I got there with only two hours to go, so I just kind of wanted to make sure I got to see everybody. Uh, just real quick, some of the dollar stuff that I thumbed through. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dollar Reggie. Some sort of Hank Aaron card. Got a Yaz All-Star there. These were kind of beat up, but definitely I'll take them, no problem. I don't even know who this dude is, but look at that flat top and the look on his eyes. He's definitely worth a buck. Jack Youngblood, he's making it into the uh, ugliest, uh, ugliest Dudes collection, and so is Tom Max. So you'll see those guys later. <laughs> Uh, those were some of the more lower end stuff that I found. A um, little bit better stuff, more funner stuff. Picked up my first Willie McCovey card. Bit better condition Yaz. <clears throat> Another Yaz. And then I found a dude that had a ton of 80s cards, so I went on a bit of a Ricky Henderson kick. These cards were great. Grabbed them all for like a buck each. Look at that. That's, that's amazing. This one really caught me off guard since I've been looking at all these 83 tops inserts from the 2018 tops, but that's a legit Henderson 83. Some stolen base ones and picked all of these up for like a buck. Amazing cards there. I was really happy with that. Those guys are really good shit to talk to. Um, was looking all over for a Bill Ripken F face. Couldn't find it, but I did find the, the blackout. It was the only one that was available. No whiteouts or cut versions or anything. So that's the start to this collection. So got my first Bill Ripken. Picked up a beat up Don Mattingly. She Beckett's for 25 in good condition. <laughs> it's not in good condition, but it's a Don Mattingly rookie card. Picked up this beauty. Look at Kurt Rambis. You know what collections he's going into. What a beaut. The autograph's awesome. The picture's great. Kurt Rambis was amazing. Picked this up. Got a million of these, but the price was right. I didn't pay two bucks for it. I actually just basically threw it in with some of the other cards that I bought. And found another rated rookie that was in really decent condition, so I grabbed that one too. And then you saw all those Hendersons and everything, so I went through and pretty much grabbed a lot of cards that I had been trying to hunt forever. Start with a Wade Boggs rookie. Great card, that's out of 83 tops. Was never able to get one of those back in the day, so now I got my own Boggs. I think he's famous for polishing off 70 beers in one airplane ride or some shit like that. Another great hitter from that era, Don Mattingly, grabbed his rookie here. I had the Fleer one, I think that was, but this is the one that I really wanted. I like the Topps version. The design's awesome and the, and the picture's cool. Great condition card. I mean, it's not a Gem Mint 10. It might probably end up all these. It might be like 7s or something, but it doesn't matter to me. We'll put the Don there. <clears throat> Grab my first Ripken rookie. I was really excited to see that. And now that, I, now that I say Ripken out loud, there was a Bill Ripken fuckface, but it was a graded one, PSA 9, and he wanted a little bit more than what I could really pay for it. I want to pay like 20 to 30 bucks tops for that card. I don't care if it's graded or not, I just want the, the version. But yep, nice Ripken rookie. Stoked to have that. that there. Grab Dave. Pocket Rookie. R.I.P. K.P. Great hitter from that era too. Might have had a Pocket Rookie. 
back in the day, but I didn't. I don't own one now. Now I got one in the collection. And last but not least, the greatest card that I was able to get today that I'm fucking super stoked about. Giddish. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Yeah, my first Ricky Henderson rookie card. Super stoked about that one. 1980 tops. It's basically what I really love about that is there's no Donruss or Fleer version. This is just basically his true rookie. Basically the last year where there were just one true rookies, if you want to call it something like that. I know that's not an official term, but you know, again, it's not a uh, it's not a gem mint ten. Might not even be a nine. But it's a hundred percent to me, and that's all that fucking matters. That's all that matters in collecting. Whatever it means to you. Dude had a bunch of them there. It was a nice, uh, it was a nice, anyway, whatever. This video's gone too long. I just wanted to show you uh, all the cool stuff there. Again, that was a show in uh, straight out of the Beckett in Wisconsin, uh, in West Dallas. You can check it out, and it was, it was definitely worth the drive. I drove about an hour and a half to go to meet everybody there. Met a lot of cool people that now know that I'm a Conseco collector, and they're going to bring their stuff next time for me. So, met a lot of cool people, shook a lot of hands, and uh, bought a lot of fun cards to add to the collection. So, thanks for watching, guys.